Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the reverse input protection using P-channel MOSFET and sometime it is also called the reverse polarity protection. So let us understand why do you need the reverse polarity protection for your design, for your circuitry, for your application. So let us say here here you are using battery to operate your product or you are using battery to operate your circuitry and uh, let's say by mistake you have connected your battery with the wrong polarity if i say wrong polarity what does it mean so if you look at the battery battery has the two terminal plus terminal and minus terminal and for this circuit plus terminal has to go to the drain of the mosfet and the minus terminal should be grounded but by the mistake what you have done is you have connected your minus terminal to your drain of the mosfet and plus terminal is to grounded that means in spite of giving plus 24 volt to this mosfet you you are giving minus 24 volt to this mosfet and if you do that if you don't use the protection circuit your load or your rest of the circuitry will get damaged so this is the main agenda of today's video how you're gonna protect your rest of the circuitry or how you're gonna protect in case of in case of if you have connected your battery in the wrong polarity okay so in 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 some cases like if you are in in production using this circuitry in production let's say and uh, due to this some misconnection or wrong connection it could be happen at the connector side let us say you are connecting you have connected two pin connector here and you want to connect your battery directly to this two pin connector and the, by the mistake you have connected with the wrong polarity in other ways let's say you have the battery and you want to solder your battery in on your board and the, by the mistake you have soldered your battery with the wrong polarity so if you do this your rest of the circuitry is going to damage so in order to protect your rest of the circuitry you have to use the protection circuit and for this design what i'm doing is i'm using very simple circuit if you look at this is the mosfet and uh, this is p channel mosfet bss84 and if you look at this point this is r1 and r2 and uh, this your source of your p channel is mosfet connected to this potential divider and uh, since our input is 24 volt i'm gonna get 12 volt across r1 and 12 volt across r2 and i have also used this gener diode to regulate the gate to source voltage of this p channel mosfet so if there is any changes in the input your your gate to source voltage remain constant due to this gener diode due to this gener diode and this is the output capacitor and this r3 is load for for this for simulation purpose i used load as a resistance or r3 and now let us understand how this circuit works first and later i'll run the simulation and i'll show you uh, while connecting the battery in the reverse fashion okay so if you look at the data sheet of bss84 let me go at here this is p channel enhancement mode uh, the field effect transistor fet and if you look at the symbol basically gate source and drain and if you look at here this is your body diode of your mosfet and if you look at anode is connected to the drain and the cathode is connected to the source so this is basically your p channel mosfet so i'm using here the p channel mosfet for now what I i'll do is maybe i can remove this external diode but let us keep connected for now okay so what happens as soon as you connect your battery with the right polarity 
due to the body diode of your MOSFET, your body diode you have seen here, due to the body diode of this MOSFET drain to source, if you look at this connection of this body diode, your 24 volt reaches to the source of source of your M1 MOSFET. And what happens is if you get 24 volt here and I have I have connected here the resistance divider R1 and R2. So the voltage across R1 is 12 volt and the voltage across R2 is 12 volt. And if you measure the source to get voltage, it will be negative minus 12 volt. Okay. It will be minus 12 volt and this MOSFET will turn on. Once this MOSFET M1 will turn on, it will give the least impedance path to you rest of the circuitry are load so in this case this MOSFET turn on and it will deliver the the voltage to the load and let us say now what happened if you have connected your battery with the wrong polarity so in this case your negative voltage will here will will be here and uh, since your diode is connected to the negative voltage diode anode is connected to the negative voltage cathode will be more positive than anode this is not going to be conduct your diode is not going to be conduct in case your diode will not conduct your m1 will not conduct and if you m1 will not conduct in case you won't get any output so i'll run the simulation now and i'll show in the waveform what i have explained till now so let me run the simulation to run the simulation click on the run button and uh, go at window maybe tile window vertically if you want you can tile your window vertically and what i'm gonna show you this is my input voltage which you can see the 24 volt let me add one more plot pen and let me show you the output voltage probably and the output current if you look at here my output voltage is in green and which is around 23.6 and my output current is 500 milliampere okay so so this is my output so if you connect your battery you will get the same voltage ex uh, ignoring the loss of this body diode and the MOSFET you will get the same voltage here and you see your load current is flowing now I'm gonna show you one important thing what is your gate to source to gate or gate to source voltage let me click on here and let me click on here and if you see this your source to gate if you click on here and if you click on here you let me delete this both traces for the moment let me show you the gate to source voltage so if you look at here your gate to source voltage is negative that is minus 11.59 which is enough to turn on this mosfet now what i'm gonna do is i'll change the polarity of this battery in spite of using plus 24 volt let me do minus 24 volt let me run the simulation again and your input is this time if you look at this here uh, your input is minus 24 volt and if you look at the output your output voltage is is close to 0 0.7 milli volt and your output current gonna be also in 0 0.01 milliamp it's less than less than 1 milliampere that means reverse some reverse current will be flowing so guys if so guys i have used this short key diode to reduce the losses if you disconnect this short key diode you will see still the same behavior if you look at here your input is how much your input input is still gonna be 23 and your output is still zero and uh, if you connect your battery with the positive polarity and let me show you the output so your input is 23 4 and your output is is how much it is 20.7 so if you don't connect this body diode your losses here is more so it's better to connect the short key diode here it's better to connect the short key diode parallel with the mosfet to avoid the output losses in the in the 
in this circuit okay so let me run again the simulation and this time you see it's a 23.6 if you connect the short key diode you will get 23.6 if you don't connect the short key diode you will get the 22.7 it's almost one volt drop so hope guys you have now understood the reverse input protection using the p channel mosfet if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video